Hello and welcome back to the Outer Worlds with your three laws in the Mad. Now, uh, I just decided that it would probably be wise to change the... Field of view back to a nice little 90 instead of the 100 I had before. And apparently there was also a slight uh, motion blur going on, which was probably something that also bothered my eyes. That was probably more what bothered my eyes than <laughs> in the field of view, to be honest. Okay, let's go to Edgewater. So this is also part of the corporation of Halcyon. Help the chairman and Minister Clark defeat our foes. They treat the um, dissenters in our midst. All that stuff. I don't see any wanted posters there. Most certainly not for myself, because I was only just raised from stasis, and I haven't really had much of a chance to muck around. What's this? Hello. Did they just walk into someone's house? Probably. Or a garage. Ooh. Okay, well... I could. Install more things, but do I want to? The answer is no. Hmm. Apparently these small revolvers, these small light pistols even, fire faster, but... It's honestly easier to just have to reload once. And I'm not sure, but I want to keep the shovel in case there's an use for a shovel. Hmm. But let me just check that real quick. So these are essentially the same, right? This one just has been damaged more, so let's equip this one that is not damaged and break down the other set. Makes sense to me at least. Alright, so I want to break down this particular set of armor. Go ahead. And then I would like to modify, if possible, this set of armor. What do we have for it? Well, I have nothing on this level. I have this. And I don't know if I can remove mods once they're installed. Mods can't be recovered. In that case, no, not yet, because... We are at a very low level, and I don't know if this is worthwhile. Okay, I can't tell if anyone sees me right now. I also don't know how... Will guards realize if I'm who I am? Space's choice. When life gives you lemons, consider the free trial from your friends at Space's Choice. H Waters at Tudor Cannery. The Space's Choice property maintenance divisions, logs, welcome Hulk P. There are currently free open travel tickets. Alright. The first one is Five point option R, AG loader, serial, blah blah blah, failure on startup, status open, priority medium, steps to reproduce, turn on engine, try it again, try it again, kick the loader, curse, injured those, I have to enter a minimum of 8 steps, try it again, it makes a rattling noise. <laughs> Maintenance on the tag it, classy, I just got you back on your feet two weeks ago, not that you got feet, but you know what I mean, sounds like a state or soft axis again, we'll clean out and reset. Chances cuts got caught and all pulled out, like in an account of someone trying to restart him over and over again. Need to rewind all the calling in number 4. Okay, his state is working, but there's something else. I've had to wait until it's quiet and spin him up again for a listen. Fight with option R again. Start the production line according to schedule. Ob observe procession of cans. Follow first patch to heat processing stage. One or more loud popping noises. Smoke, smell of burnt saltuna, overheat klaxon on monitor 6, flames jet from exhaust ports, automatic shutdown. 
Luckily, it's not best got indigestion from being made to eat something she ain't made to. Again, heading over now. From Miller, this issue has been open for zero days. Tank mechanicals. Status open. Pretty low. Priority automatically reset the load by executive level admin rule applied by Thompson R. Recent trouble ticket filed by Miller AL. Look north ice. I said look north ice blasted useless translator. Knee scrap pile. Could be north east from down I guess. Observe mechanical. Planking about all menacing like shit. It's right there. No notes on this ticket yet. That doesn't sound like it was meant to be a ticket. Do I want to loot their fridge? Hell yeah, I do. It's not like that's gonna get me in trouble. Immediately, anyway. Ooh, another dustball blocker. Those seem to be decent. I don't have the devices for that. I should probably be looking into something more immediate. Ooh, bread. Not bread, but bread. And tarmac and cheese. It's as if they don't have access to macaroni here. Which is surprising. I guess they don't have good access to grain. Another terminal. Welcome, Holcomb Robot. Enter a keyword for record search or hold down Ctrl Alt F7. Enter to compose a new entry. Let's try that. Nah. Open last search. Last search in Dumati. Searching two records found. First entry. In Dumati left stage for today. She's been reassigned to Terra 1. I kissed her goodbye at the platform and asked if I would ever see her again. We both knew the answer was no. Look up and think of me as I look up and think of you. Transcript. A note from Indumati. Robert, you won't let me keep her, but I know you will raise her with love. Probably more than I would make time for. You are patient and present in, present in a way that I am not. The company says she has no name until you give her one. Her name is Parvati. They, they tell me her birthday will be set on the date she's legally delivered to you. She's actually born on July 7th. Make her feel special when I can't. She liked it when I sang to her. It was the only time she stopped crying. Indumati. Aww. Open the last entry. I sat up last night reading through the young spaces guide. Almost started reading out it out loud from habit. It's been ten years, but I still have part of it parts of it memorized. Reckon I'll take the next volume into work at the cannery. There's an unused office where I've been taking my lunches, may as well read the whole thing again. Is this the cannery? Maybe not. Ooh, weapon parts. Don't mind if I do. And another bypass shunt, which I guess is once again for hacking? Alright, and can I shower? It's been like 70 years since I last showered. May I, may I please shower? <gasps> when I strip down, I've got one of these nice unisex uniforms. Oh well. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. I also don't know if I'm not actually being seen right now. Like, I don't really know yet what symbolizes being seen while in this uh, stealth mode. Well, when crouched. Because this is not so simple stealth mode as we've previously witnessed. This actually allows us to crouch. Which is amazing. Okay, here's the constable's office. This is another sealed door. I wonder if everyone's just been evicted or something. Been eating nothing but salt tuna for a year. What about the boss catch you saying that? You got the problem with salt tuna, babies? Staying long? Sure. I don't get a lot of visitors. Facer's choice takes care of its own. We don't get a lot of visitors. I like your hair, dude. Spacer's choice takes care of its own. Good to know. Right, examine. 
Wanted Bird Bertie Cotton from the Spaces Choice of Department of Retirement, a writ of execution effective immediately for Bird Cotton. Former Vika stationed in Edgewater Vicarage, no longer in good standing with Halcyon Branch Order of Scientific Inquiry, at large and dangerous. Wanted for destruction of company property, murder of company workers in good standing, sedition and unauthorized use of medical supplies. Generous bounty payment and delivery, must be able to sign your own name. See Constable Rice for details. Alright. Wanted Doc Mabel Burgess from the Spaces Choice Department of Retirement, a writ of execution, effective immediately for Mabel Burgess, former Spaces, Spaces Choice physician, condemned on charges of dereliction of duty, disappeared from Edgewater with two passes of Adrian time. At large and dangerous, wanted for destruction of company property, murder of company workers in good standing, standing vandalism and unlicensed practice of med medicine on seditious criminals, generous bounty, payment and delivery, must be able to sign your own name. See Constable Rice for more information. The last one. Wanted Kilom Gil Antrim from the Spaces Choice Department of Retirement of Writ of Execution, effective immediately for Kilom Antrim. Former Spaces Choice Associate Mechanic terminated from his position and escorted from Edgewater on grounds of unauthorized use of Adrenat time. Wanted for destruction of company property, murder of company workers in good standing, theft and unauthorized use of medical supplies, generous bounty, Etc. Etc. Almost lost a finger in the cannery today. Nothing I could do about that. <laughs> yeah. There is nothing you can do about that. That's that's true. Ooh, there's the cannery. Spacer's choice. Yo. Don't make me report you to Mr. Thompson. Who are you? you some sort of freelancer? Sort of, yeah. You're safer inside the walls. Might be, might be. Hey, you hear about Wilson? No. Her what about Wilson? Gathered. Just between us, Wilson deserted. Lost his nerve. Ran off in the thick of night. You're kidding me. Damn. Yeah. Always thought he was made of sterner stuff. I think he was plagued. Guess he didn't want to die in the sick house. Plague? Ah, oh, shit. I had some of the salt to the... You moron. What is this? Oh, it's this way around? <gasps> Basta! You some sort of freelancer? You could say that. Yeah, the yeah right, you then. I'm gonna come here into this back alley and grab all of these nice little magpicks and all of these cartridges and all of that heavy ammo, yes please. Speaking of. Where am I supposed to head? Hello, you're named. I've got some time. What do you do here? Oh, I'm an actuary. That means I keep tabs on a worker's living expenses. How much it costs to feed, clothe, shelter, bury, and replace your average human worker. Technically, I'm employed by the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. I'll leave you be. That's grim, mate. Oh, you have got Ooh, another friend. Nothing but Saltuna for a year. Hey. Hey. I know how you feel. Hey. Okay. Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. Ah, okay, so when there's a stealing symbol, that's when you're stealing. That makes perfect sense. Okay. I want to see. I want to test this. Almost lost a finger in the cannery. If I'm crouched between you, do you does anything change on the symbol? No. Hi, friend. Oh, sweet merciful law. A marauder's in my domicile. They take it easy, I'm not a marauder. There a reason you're running around outfitted like one of those monsters? Did Mr. Thompson send you to put the fear in me? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post. Tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. You want to tell me what's got you so nervous? 
You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? I'm positive you mentioned something about being played. You don't know that. I could have been saying anything. Maybe I said vague. You know how words sound a mite strange when you're sick. Wait, no. Oh, damn it. Okay, listen. Maybe I am feeling a little under the weather, but I swear I'm on the mend. Please, don't tell the constable. Why not? She'll toss me in the sick house. I would have confessed before the good vicar. Get some ablutions for my spirit. Just never found my courage is all. Hey, you're hale and healthy and possibly for hire, ain't ya? I'd do a good turn for an expiring old man. How can I help? There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Not so fast, I've got some questions. I'll do what I can. Why can't you just buy some medicine yourself? I tried medicating myself with Adrena time. Didn't do much for me, as far as I can tell. Anyway, I can't just buy medicine. Distribution of medicine is strictly prohibited to any workers beneath the acceptable margin of health. Company policy. Ah. Oh. In other words, the company won't treat you because you're already sick. More like the company won't treat me because I'm not healthy enough. Assume there are guards? You will not find any guards within sight of that old place. Marauders, on the other hand. What can you tell me about these marauders? I have it on good authority. There's a gang of them squatting there. I advise stepping softly. Alright, I've heard enough. So you'll do it then? I'll do it. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. Anything I should know about this community center? Just keep your head down when you're in there. Marauders have taken over. Probably tracking mud all over the archives. You're taking an awful risk trusting me, you know? I know that. But I got nobody else to turn to. Reed would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but I never did find my courage. I'll leave you be. Okay, so we have another quest. Cells. That's a fancy looking toilet. And still can't get a grab a shower, despite the fact that we haven't showered for 70 years. Hmm. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. Oh, you're here now. Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine. Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk with Abernathy. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. He's got symptoms of something. You're saying it's psycho psychosomatic? All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's a... Uh... He's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. What do you need it for? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Let me worry about that. All right. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. I can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. Abernathy is paying me for my trouble. Can you match his offer? I'm paid better than Abernathy. Whatever he's giving you, I will do you one better. I'll think about it. That's all I can ask of you. Alright. Well. Be needing but that's maintenance division. For a year. At least you got your help. Oh, is that the canteen? Where's the canteen? I wanna talk to the constable. When I say that, I mean, hey, buddy, I want to steal all of your heavy ammo if you have any. Welcome, Constable Ray. Bounty records. Open bounties. 
Kilaum Antrim. Background, former blah 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 blah. blah. Some of you may remember Kill Antrim from his days in the cannery. Please be advised that Space's Choice no longer recognizes Mr. Antrim as a member of its valued family. Space's Choice advises its workers in good standing to remain in good standing by disabusing themselves of any sympathy, allegiance, or memory toward Mr. Antrim. Sir Sponti, etc., etc. Constable's Memorandum, blah blah. Doc Mabel is wanted for three counts of larceny, two for each parcel of stolen adrenal time, and one for depriving the outpost of its official position. Alright, and put former vicar, blah blah blah. blah, blah. Total of certificate inquiry has declined the response, actually. Hmm. Okay. Suffered by psychological breakdown upon showing symptoms of plague. Ah, well that's new. Vicar Godwin's sermons are considered defunct and obsolete. Space's choice to advise is purging them from your memory with the help of Zero G. Zero G brew, an ale that's good for what ails you. Generous bounty, etc, etc. And that's, that's stealing. I need to steal anything. Hey, mind if I go in jail? Thank you. Okay, I'll, I'll not close the door behind me, just in case. Nice settlers. Put the tower buckery there. Well, not really, but you know what I mean. Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. We are Halcyon's leading brand in frontier justice. The office is writing up promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations and the fourth one's free. If you need help with your marauder problem, I'm from Ohio. As a Spacer's Choice Constable, I am authorized to grant you legal authority toward apprehending wanted criminals. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three marauders. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller. I've got some questions, if you don't mind. As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. Does the name Phineas Wills mean anything to you? His likeness decorates many a wanted poster. Do you have any relevant information about this individual? Yeah, that's why I'm asking. Look, it looks like there's a bounty on his head. You're correct. An outstanding bounty has been posted for information pertaining to the whereabouts of Phineas V. Wells. Never mind. I do want to ask about the Something other ones. To report. No, I want to ask about uh, the Marauders. As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. So who do you work for, Spaces Choice or Edgewater? If this is a setup to a joke, you should know I've never found anything amusing in my life. I don't serve Edgewater. Edgewater and the entire region of Emerald Dale serve Spacer's Choice. Who does Spaces Choice sense it to? Spacer's Choice is a wholly owned subsidiary of Universal Defense Logistics, which occupies a seat on the Halcyon Holdings Corporation, also known as the board. I must admit it bothers me that you don't already know this. So you're basically a bureaucrat? Flattery won't get you anywhere with me. The bureaucracy is a noble profession, but not all of us are gifted enough to serve in it. There was one other thing. Something to report? Nah. Thank you for your time, and... I've been feeling pretty low these days. I'm gonna look around. Oh, ten our workers are finishing up for the night. Ooh, a barber shop. <laughs> Maybe we got the classic barber thing. I'm gonna assume that this is where I can get a haircut. Um. Conrad, receptionist, shot himself. This is bad. Company is going to have to call in for what it is: destruction of Space's Choice property. Eugene was an asset and somebody has to pay his body price. This kind of ruin us. So I was thinking that we born off his teeth. Eugene had a full set of gold teeth. Herlums passed down his family or something. You're processing his body, right? Just dig around and pry them out. We said the teeth somewhere nice and quiet. Used the bits to pay his body price and nobody's the wise. What do you think? Don't write back. In fact, don't talk to me at all. Just give me a special signal next time you see me. Waggle your eyebrows. Alright, but I can't take his teeth. So you run the morgue and... 
If I want to steal this stuff, might as well. Out of curiosity, are these uh, symbolized as stolen in my inventory? Or do they just appear there? They seem to just appear there. Okay. So is there anything I want to mix in with my other healing? Not really. No. Okay, so. Yeah. It's fine. Do you have any heavy ammo, sir? You have a model spaceship. Nifty. Merciful law. Is that a marauder's outfit? I don't want you wandering into my shop wearing something you've lifted off a corpse. I thought this Please in the chest, actually. Anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. Relax and clean. So everyone says, until someone forgets to cough into their elbow, and then we're all dying of plague. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death. Whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Prepare my remains for what? Burial. In the unfortunate event of a fatality. It's what a barber does. We make you presentable. I've got some questions for Go you. Go ahead. What do you know about this plague? The plague's come at us with a vengeance this year. Lost six workers in as many months. I wouldn't call them good workers, mind you. If they were any good, they'd have been treated. Still, it is a shame. What are the symptoms? Fever, chills, fatigue, aching, vomiting, an excess of phlegm, a tendency towards belly aching. What you're describing sounds a lot like a flu. Whatever it may be, I have developed my own palliative. Boiled canid liver and a splash of ethanol. Why don't you treat all your workers? Company policy, friend. We don't have enough medicine to treat all of us, so we treat the best among us. Whose idea was that? Mr. Thompson's brainchild. Have you met him yet? Thoughtful looking fellow, stares out of his office most hours. You seem pretty enthusiastic about this place. Edgewater has been good to me. I consider myself privileged to work here. I am never wanting for work. Not since the plague started. Sounds exhausting. As the good vicar says, work fortifies the spirit of a man. If you want to feel exhausted, try not having any work. Okay, uh, I want to what ask for I another thing. For I want to ask about... You sound like you've had some training. I know a thing or two about medicine. Oh? Am I in the company of a fellow doctor? Only if you use the term doctor loosely. I am a Spacer's Choice Certified Surgeon, and if you must know, I can stitch a severed thumb with a 58% chance of avoiding gangrene. I'm looking to repair my ship. A ship? Dear me. You seem to have lost the ability to distinguish between reality and fantasy. This is what happens when you let your imagination run wild. I don't approve of fantasizing. It's a dreadful habit, corrosive to the mental faculties. You ought to let the vicar take a look inside your head. Didn't your vicar run away? Vicar Maximilian, our man from the OSI, here to spread the message of scientism like a soothing balm upon a feverish head. Or so you'd expect. You'll find him in our local church, probably neglecting his duties. You don't seem to like him much. He doesn't seem to like us much. The vicar has not been with us long, and in his relatively short tenure in Edgewater, gives off the distinct whiff of superiority. I've got some more questions for you. Go ahead. I think that's for written all. Okay. Thank you for your time. And have a good night. That's a closed door. That's a closed door. That looks to be the exit from this area. This is another corporate card. Keep your distance, friend. Sick house is no place for a traveler. Is this the sick place? Ooh. If you're falling sick, I don't want you near me. Don't worry. 
I wouldn't do that to you. At least some people are treating each other nicely in that regard. Hmm. What am I looking at here? Not much, just some back streets. Don't mind me sprinting, right? Right. Okay, let's check the cantina. Canner workers, canner workers. Upon canner workers, upon canner workers, upon canner workers, workers, and some residents. And apparently, this is being dressed like. Okay, I can see how this is being dressed uh, like a. Or order. It is quite a similar outfit, isn't it? Marauder armor. This mining gear has seen some hard times in Sulfur Spit Summer. You can just smell it. Okay. Let's wear this instead while we're indoors. Which is gonna be. Simply strange as an outfit. Ooh, what do you have? You're stun baiting. Hello. I don't know you. Indeed. Alex Hawthorne, Captain of the Unreliable. Uh huh. The Unreliable, you say? Never heard of any company supply ship with that particular name. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hard-working company folk here. And what a fine establishment it is. You really think so? <laughs> That's kind of you. I've been trying to keep the floors clean. You got no idea how long it takes to scrub the tiles. Hmm. Guess I misreckoned you. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be curt. We just got some problems lately. I can get you a drink if you'd like. Gotta ask you to enjoy your beverage within the premises, though. Can't risk you bringing a drink over to those deserters. You understand. What's this about deserters? <sighs> Traitors. The lot of them. Bunch of folks decided they were tired of working and went out into the wilds to fend for their own selves. The town's already struggling to make quotas, even without that band of slackwits abandoning their posts. Bunch of lazy, shiftless rung leeches. Anyway, enough about them. What can I do for you? Who is Reed? And why do I want to talk to him? I'll have a drink. Coming right up. Okay. So... I am also interested in selling, to be honest. And I probably want to sell some of my... Unnecessary chunk, right? I don't want to sell my shovel, the shovel is important. Do I want to sell the dust ball blocker? It's worth a bit, not a lot. I was interested in seeing how much you can get for this chunk there. Okay. Let's just hold Z to sell chunk. Where are items put that you remove from chunk? Is another question in my mind right now. Also, no, not F1. F1 is inventory in Destiny, I think. It's probably why I thought of using F1. Alright, that's a completely intact one. So this one is good to either sell or dismantle. Dismantling would be fine as well. I'll be back with you. Me needing nothing but salt because this is just this is just me being like, ah, well, I could break this down while we're waiting. I could also break this down. So let's break shit down. Does this use light hammer? Yep. Okay, uh, let's switch things around. I'm gonna use another light weapon just in case. 
and we are gonna break down this this telescopic stuff because I don't really know what I could do with that other than hit people with it but uh, apparently the dust ball thing is a lot stronger than that I'm gonna wait wander around a little bit more this is all stealing isn't it yeah no need for that when I say no need for that I don't mean in regards of this What's this? Kairos? This modification uses an internal gyroscope to dampen movement, allowing more accurate shots. Okay, now there's a guy who might be able to see me, so I'm not gonna use that right now. Light ammo, nothing in the fridge. Would have liked to have some more ammo in the fridge, would have been amusing. Or funny. <laughs> uh -huh. Not the light pistol, energy cells, the pit. Honestly, might as well. Might as well. And might as well. There's no one else in this room. Which means it's nice. And safe. To loot. Spaces Corona, I'm gonna assume that's like some sort of a cigar brand in here. Cigarette brand even. I think we're still alone. I think we are alone now. I don't actually know how the sun goes. Hey! Oh, I almost forgot. I'm contractually obligated to recite company slogans to any visitors. You tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Just with that chatting. Go ahead. So what's your story? I don't see how that's any of your business. I'm not trying to charge you, just curious. You're the first to ask after me in some time. I'll give you that. But I don't have a story to share. My family's work spacer's choice for two generations, and I've lived in Edgewater just about all my life. Wanted to work in the sciences once upon a time. Would you believe it? That was a wild fancy. Glad I disabused myself. So you had a dream of being a scientist. What happened? What happened, you ask? What always happens when you're dreaming? I woke up. I just didn't have the brains for it. Asked too many questions. Wasn't suited to the work. So I did the right thing and worked the life I was always meant to live. Now that I'm behind a bar, I can ask all the questions I want. Important ones. Like when are you going to pay your tab? And would you like another round of cold, refreshing zero-G? Ask questions is the foundations of science. The best scientists ask too many. Don't talk to me that way, please. Spent many years disabusing myself of that notion. Don't need you putting it back in my head. Hmm. Lab work ain't for me. Never was. Never will be. Spacer's Choice put me where I belong. And for that, I am grateful. Sounds like uh, Scraper's Choice took care of you. They did. They gave me a life. Gave me a purpose. This is where I belong. You've been scrubbing dishes all your life? What's wrong with that? It's good honest work. Pots and pans don't scrub themselves. Glasses don't fill themselves either. Unless you're in Byzantium. I hear everything's automated there. Not that I'll ever find out. Thanks for the story. Not so fast. I told you about my life. Your turn to tell me about yours. So, what's your story? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. That right. Prove it. I'm the last survivor of the colony ship Hope. Everyone else is frozen. Ah, I know that serial drama. They were playing it just the other night. What was it called? The Last Spacer? You're right. I don't believe you. I'd advise you to keep that story unsaid. Don't want people thinking you're a loon. What if I told you I just got uh, shot into space by a crazy scientist? Ugh, is this the start of a joke? If you want me to laugh at your jokes, it's a three drink minimum. I wish this jokes. Honestly, I don't even know where I am. Most folk forget where they're standing after a few drinks. Seems to me you've got a head start. Anyhow, whatever happens outside the walls is not my business. Only deserters and marauders wander out there. And I cannot tell you which I revile more. 
My world is these four walls, that door, and a row of mugs that need cleaning. It almost sounds like you're afraid to go outside. Let me make something clear. Spacer's choice has been real good to me. The town's been real good to me. I start gallivanting around outside the walls, poking around in places I shouldn't be, learning things I've got no right to know. People will talk. <laughs> Won't ever catch me asking about the world outside. Else the town's gonna say Amelia's gone soft. That Amelia's pondering desertion. <laughs> I don't want that. Fine, I'll drop it. See that you do. I've said enough. People come here to drink their problems away. If they wanted to face their problems, they'd go see our vicar. I should go. Okay. So. Done there. Federal store. Hello, you still awake? Nice. Is this a vending machine? No. So how are you doing? Talk to me. It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's choice. And before you ask, I'm all out of deluxe salt tuna. All I've got is gourmet. I need to fix a ship. You know where I can find parts? You ought to go have a talk with the boss, Reed Thompson. He's up in his tower above the cannery. Oh, so that's the Reed that uh, I was able to ask uh, the farm lady about. I've got some questions for you. Go right ahead. What's your take on this place? What, you mean Edgewater? That's a peculiar question. This a test? Am I being tested right now? It's, uh, fine and dandy. Couldn't be happier. Wouldn't want to spend my life working anywhere else. Prettiest little town on Terra 2. I'm glad you're so optimistic. I have every reason to be. I caught a real break working in a place like this. I don't get paid for banter. Was there something you needed? Actually, there was. Go right ahead. Anyone I should watch out for? Other than yourself? Definitely the vicar. Don't get me wrong. He seems a decent man. Cut from church cloth. Knows his scriptures. But there's something about him that bothers me. Like he's not one of us. Sometimes I suspect he doesn't even want to be here. So about this plate... Uh, thanks, anyone else? I'd keep a few paces between myself and Miss Holcomb, the town mechanic, since her dear father left the workforce. No ill intent in her, mind. Just a queer sort, restless, scatterbrained, inclined to do first and think after, if you take my meaning. Interesting. Did everyone else know about? Amelia. Definitely Amelia Kemp. I advise against stepping foot in her drinking establishment altogether. Word is, they're going to replace her with an auto-mechanical barkeep. She's... What's the word? Obsolete. You don't want to associate yourself with that kind of person. Oh no. It's about this plague that's supposed to be going around. Plague? I don't know anything about a plague. We are the very picture of hot-blooded physical vigor. Is there a reason you feel like you have to hide what's going on? You have got the wrong idea about me. I've got nothing that needs hiding. Some of us who get sick are liable to exaggerate the conditions of that sickness, but... The fact is, if you work hard, you have got no cause to worry. What do you mean by that? Survival of the fittest. It ain't just the law of nature, it's company policy. Medical treatment is commensurate with our value to society. Spacer's choice will dispense medicine for the indispensable worker. Natural selection at work. And if you don't work hard enough? Then the hand of medical science will not grace you with its touch. And you must recover on the virtue of your own grit. Listen, you mind if we talk about something else? Rambling about company policy gets me feeling all lightheaded. Let's see what you're selling. Music to my ears. I want your heavy ammo. Okay, light ammo versus heavy ammo in price? Quite different. Am I buying one or am I buying 50? Okay, so buy that. 
Okay, now I bought 50. It's quite expensive. And even more expensive now. No, that's that's just showing energy cells now. Yeah. Good to know. So I could have found, bought like standard troop armor or something. Oh well. And what's this? This is the Maxwell. Cool. Cool. It was Not I able to choice? It's Spacer's choice. Music to my ears. Uh, how expensive was this? 183 and I have 139, so we don't have enough money to buy these mechanics overalls. And then the certainly don't have enough money for the trooper outfit. Alright, well if I were to sell you something, like... Like some apple juice. And maybe some... Lager? That should make me be able to afford this particular piece of equipment. Thank you. Which means I will no longer look like a marauder while also I'll be dressed a little bit better. In some ways, not others. Okay, so next up, looks like we have the church here. Wonder if the plague's ever gonna pass. Just keep working. We're fortified to spirit. So they say. This is there some residents about. It's pretty late in the night, isn't it? Yeah, that's speaker Max. It's just hey some residents. Don't see you around here too often. Oh, I just came to talk to the vicar is all. None of us are above confessionals. What is this? Why did they pick it up? And why wasn't it stealing? Was it a quest item? It is. This might look nice in one of the crew's rooms on on the unreliable. Just like me. Hi. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max if you're the sort who prefers brevity. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's toss ball predictions, the quickest way out of town. I'm looking for power regulator. Mechanical tomfoolery is well out of my purview. I suggest you take such matters to Mr. Thompson in the cannery. Oh, and a word of warning. If you're considering wandering around outside the safety of the town, you'd best be cautious. I've been outside, I'm not impressed. I can, and I can handle myself better than Enrique. <laughs> the marauders I met when I ventured outside the walls might agree with you. Bastards snuck up on me while I was dutifully hunting for a banned book in a collector's library. Barely escaped with my life. But you see, one of the reasons I transferred here was to get my hands on that heretical text. If you managed to acquire it for me, I'd pay quite a handsome sum for the book. Why would the vicar be after a banned heretical book? I just want to keep the writing out of layman's hands. It wouldn't do for such information to fall into public consumption. Seems to me that the authorities would be interested to hear your after this contraband text. On the contrary, my position means that I am one of the few legally allowed to possess such items. But do not worry. You'll be safe since you are acting on my behalf. You make a compelling argument. Glad we see eye to eye. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? You mean this book? Here we go. 
Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I... Wait. What the fuck is this? Is this... French? I can't fucking read French. It's a law-forsaken joke is what it is. French. Ha! I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan, while fighting it at every turn. What's so important about this book? I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. Why do you think the book held the secrets you were looking for? Bokonu, the author, had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the Philosophist School of Thought, so the book is banned in this colony. What's a Philosophist? Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. But most of the philosophist perversion of Bakonu's thoughts came more than a century after his death. And because searching for banned books sets a bad example, doesn't it? The story of my life. Most lay people are not aware of this, but we've not discovered any new insights into the plan for a long, long time. I had an idea that we should welcome the truth, no matter where we found it. I had the worse idea to share my thoughts with a superior. And... That's how I ended up assigned prison duty, where I was fool enough to let an inmate bend my ear with stories of an original Bokonu journal. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. I could be a beneficial arrangement. You need to ride out of town, and I will mind the ship hand. Certainly. I already gave you most of my money, but I can offer you free spiritual counseling, and I'd be happy to watch your back. I'm pretty handy with a toss ball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. Is that all part of your wicker training? Well, understanding computers is, though I admit I took it further than most. And I was quite the 32nd back during my penitentiary term. <laughs> Left many an opponent bleeding in the prison yard. Are you even a vicar? Because you're sounding very vicarly right now. Of course. I'm a vicar who is dedicated to his calling. More dedicated than any other you'll find in this colony. I joined the OSI to help decipher the grand plan. But instead, I ended up the vicar in a prison due to ignorance and politics. Then I came here. Satisfied? Sounds good. Let's go. Fantastic. Let me get my things in order and I'll catch up with you. I shall see you on the ship, Captain, whenever you're ready to leave Emerald Vale. Nice. Oh, okay. But with whom did my reputation change? Mostly positive. Cool. So, not actually a problem right now. Let's take a look at our skills. I think I want to proceed with... Some tech. Can I take my medical to 40 as well? Yeah. Wait. Can I vote the one? No. I can only vote all. And then I want to put some in stealth. That will take me closer to having the first level of sneak. Oh, wait. Other way around. Ooh. 
Yeah, and then we'll put whatever we can in here. Excellent. I could also work on some of this, but there, eh, that's fine. Apply. All right. So we have our first crew member. That's certainly an advancement. That takes us back to the Emerald, blah blah blah, and Emerald Vale, to be specific. And what's this yard? Anything here I can steal? Or if not steal, repossess? Right, well, it looks like this is where I need to go. To talk to Reed. What's all this then? What tablets and some other shit. Logs. The age water Saturna canning facility is strictly adhered to Space's Choice standards of health and safety notice. Casually your sick leave with your Space's Choice foreman and or supervisor. Be considered to vote other members of the Spaces Choice family allow two to four weeks to process and approve your scheduled sick leave. Lost hours must be compensated to the company. See Reed if you're having trouble paying for your sick leave, we'll try to arrange wage deductions instead. Remember, work invigorates the spirit, sickness in the body reflects sickness in the mind and sickness in the character. If you find yourself falling ill, it may be time to schedule a meeting with our local vicar. Right. Yeah, that sounds all right, right? Yeah, okay. Well, I shall head to talk to Reed next time. So this time I shall just thank you for watching and say bye-bye. Bye-bye.